Thanks, guys. Man, that takes a lot, a lot out of me when I'm nervous. Um, you guys like the new first aid song? Sick. Think about playing that one next. Um, if you guys want to hear that one. Check, check, one, two, check. All right, guys, I'm going to do first aid. This is the first time I've, I've ever done this song. Um, really happy you guys are liking it. Hope I remember the words.
shout out Fender for this guitar. So down my head, it's not here. I'm still learning how to feel. I'm to spirit is a one of a kind. How about my head? It's all near, but I'm learning how to steal. It's a miracle that I still abide. Oh, God. Thanks for listening to that, guys. Um, sick. All right, I guess for the next uh, the next fifteen minutes, I'll just do a Q and A. So, if you guys have any any questions, I'd love to answer them. Any questions, guys? Uh, 
uh songwriting process i guess that's pretty pretty general for me just because i i do a lot of different stuff but i guess this last record i mainly just um started on the guitar uh coming up with the chord progression and melody and um finding the lyrics kind of before i started producing usually in the past i'd like start producing first because that was um what i grew up doing first as opposed to like playing instruments and stuff will i ever come to El, El paso yeah i sure hope hope so come to mexico yeah i'd love to come to mexico um let's see i mean i don't know when i would love to tour as soon as possible we're supposed to we're supposed to do a tour i guess kind of soon but um you know who knows when that'll be able to happen again you know it's not safe right now i would love to come to all those places though uh the idea of writing first aid um i wrote it i just figured this out yesterday where i wrote it but i wrote it um in glasgow in the green room um of this venue like a a year and a half ago i guess Um, and I don't know, I was just reflecting on, I think a lot of the, uh, imbalances I had going on in my life. And I, I think, um, over the past year, I've been more imbalanced than I have in my whole life. Um, as far as, um, it's, uh, every sort of, um, physical habit as well. And, uh, it's kind of about having this one person on the outside and sort of trapping someone in trappings of you on the inside that are is really aware of. Uh, so that's kind of what that's about. What inspires me the most? Probably, um, it's hard to say what I get inspired by, but I'm just a huge, huge advocate for music and, and art. And I think just seeing like music progress and seeing what the capabilities of music are inspires me to, to make it. And um, I think when it comes to the, like, lyrical content, um, I'm inspired by my friends and family. And I don't know if I'm inspired by them, but they, they really give me the courage to do it, so. Who's my favorite musician? Um, I, always say, I always say, like, Brian Wilson. I really like... Or David Bowie. Um, trying to think of who else these days. What kind of guitar was I playing? So, this is a um, Fender California series acoustic guitar called the Redondo. And, um, Honestly, didn't really like how it looked at first because it has like the like Stratocaster, Telecaster kind of head, but honestly, it's so nice to play. I, I really love this guitar. It's like I, I can't stop playing. It's the only thing I play. Um, I recorded most of the new songs with it and I was really getting ready to play with it live. But, you know, you and Ruby should make a whole album together. True. Um, and Adele is actually coming out with a EP on the 28th, um, which is really sick. And I, um, produced it for her and whatnot. So, uh, you guys can listen to that. Why is I Ascend, um, so short? Uh, just because it was supposed to be that way, it's just supposed to be a lot of times when I make an album, I write songs to be in certain places. Like I, I write this song to be first, this song to be second, this song to be um, eight, this song to be nine, this song to be 10. And I wrote 
I said to be number 10. So um, that's how I wanted to end the album. What's my favorite book? Um, I mean, I love Just Kids by Patti Smith. Recently, I started reading this um, book called On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous, and it's really amazing, too. Yeah, my parents do call me Gus, actually. Um, Amadel calls me Bren. Everyone else calls me Gus. <laughs> I think people I think people are a little confused by artist names and stage names and the way I see it is I was pretty discouraged as a kid from doing what I wanted to do not by anyone in particular just I was discouraged but um I think when I decided that I was going to be bold and have courage, I wanted to go by this name that that felt that I felt like I resonated with. I couldn't tell you how I came up with it or how it arrived in my head, but uh, that's the name I wanted to go by, and that's the person I wanted to be. I wanted to have courage and I wanted to be bold to put these things out into the world. Um, and I think that. My friends and family really respect that, and I really, um, you know, prefer to be called that. I think if you knew me as the person I used to be, then you can call me, you know, that. But, you know, if you know, if you only know me from my music, then I think you should, you know, refer to that person that I am. But, um, you know, not a big, not a big deal. How would I describe my new album? I don't want to give too much away yet. I think just listen to First Aid for a bit longer and uh, see what you can come up with. And then I'll um, I'll keep dropping hints. Favorite memory with my sister? I don't even know. I, it, it's crazy because we have so many f stories and and memories like... And they're, most of them are from, you know, just the band, like me, me, my sister, Tommy and Ian. And we have so many, but it's they're all so equal in terms of, like, how strong the memories are. It's, it's hard to pinpoint one in particular. Every Just every time we go up on stage and we look at each other and we see how much, see how unreal it is to be doing what we're doing, I think is a good memory. Um, will you release more merch? Yes, we'll release more merch. It's hard to say when because of the climate that we're in and um, shipping and whatnot uh, and the ways and means of getting that to you guys, but we are going to as soon as we can. Are you going to drop a music video for First Aid? Um What else you guys got for me? How do I pass time during quarantine? Honestly, no idea. I was pretty good up until a couple of days ago. Now I'm just so bored. Um, I've been skateboarding a lot, just like my driveway. Does my voice hurt after a show? So the weird thing is, my voice doesn't hurt after I sing. Sometimes I lose my voice by the end. And I'm always singing, like, pretty loud and screamy. And you would think I would have lost my voice by now, but it, um, I don't know. I warm up. I warm up a lot. So I think that helps. But, you know, knock on wood, it's, it's been good this far. I also don't have a very big range. I know it, I I try to sing with a lot of dynamics, but and it might seem like I can't have a bigger range and can sing like 
higher and shit, but I really, that's as far as it goes, and I can't sing higher than that. So I think, um, I don't know, maybe the fact that I can't do that, I don't, like, overuse that part of my voice. My vocal warm-up routine, pretty much just sing songs that I like that are, like, kind of in my range, and I do some uh, some scales and stuff. Um, <laughs> there's this one... There's this one video, and, and you can get it on, like, Spotify and Apple Music, too. It's called Jacob's Vocal Warm-Up, or Jacob's Vocal Academy, and there's this one. He has a couple warm-ups that I do. Do I remember South by Southwest? Yeah. South by Southwest is crazy. No, I don't have a vocal coach. Um, my sister's a pretty classically trained singer, though, so she... Singapore is a dope place. I, I love Singapore. We loved it out there. I didn't know a place like that existed, honestly. It's it's like the future. I love it. Yeah, I do have some. I do still have some bracelets. I love when you guys give me bracelets and like throw them up. I, I love those like, like beaded, spelled out things. It's really nice. If I could move anywhere in the world, where would you go? New York City. I, I always, I, I've been like putting this into perspective recently, but. I never like had dreams or goals growing up. And then I realized that my dream growing up was to just get out of Warwick where I lived and move to New York City. And that was always what I, where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. So now that I'm there, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I love New York City. It's, I, I think it's the best city on, on earth, you know. my dog okay yeah both of, both of my dogs are okay um they're pretty reckless learn any tiktok dances i actually haven't learned any tiktok dances i'm just starting to get get into it and f kind of figure out what i like on there and what i don't like but some people are phenomenal at dancing now. I would love to come to all these places. Next hair color. You know what's crazy? I was thinking about keeping my hair just my natural color for a little bit, which sounds gross, but... Um, I don't know. Do I like 21 Pilots? No, I don't. Um, what's my favorite food? Ramen, I think. Favorite album right now. You know, I couldn't tell you my favorite album right now, but um, I don't know. The week The Weeknd's album is pretty fucking fire. I'll, I'll I'll make a playlist for you guys. Am I gonna grow the bowl cut back? It'll probably take its shape eventually, but I want to keep it kind of short for now. I know, I know, natural hair color sounds disgusting, but um, well, you know, I I sort of had a I sort of had a plan. I wanted to like have my hair a certain way for this one video and uh, i'm not sure when we're going to be able to do it so i i think i'm going to keep it like this for a while until i know do i like yellow days yeah yellow days is sick oscar lang yeah oscar lang sick for sure 
Favorite song I've made? Can't tell you, but it's on the new album. Any more questions? Boy Pablo? Yeah, sick. Love Boy Pablo. Tame Impala? Yeah, for sure. Uh. Alright, my most memorable moment now that you guys keep asking, I'm thinking about it. The first time we toured Europe, the last show we had was in Milan. And we we're just sitting eating dinner and like man, I just can't believe that people like all over the world we're listening, like, you know, we're listening to my music and shit and seeing all you guys out there was, was like, so crazy. And, you know, I, I love meeting fans. I love seeing, I love seeing everyone. Like, if you're listening to my music and coming to a show, we're just, you know, obviously connecting on some great level. And uh, it's it, so every time still, it's, it's, it feels the same to me. It's this... It's just so un, un so I hate saying this word, but so surreal, you know. All right, one minute, guys, and I'm signing off. I think. Thanks for tuning in and uh, listening to me play. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I definitely didn't nail them, but thanks for listening. Some maybe some parts were good. Yeah, I think a lot of do I still like my old songs or do have I grown from them? Yeah, you know, I think a lot of um a lot of artists like kind of hate on their own their old songs, but uh I think you have to remember your capabilities in the time that you made them and understand that in that time you were creating something to the best of your capabilities and um, I go back and I love playing like some, some of the first songs I've played and I think about the compositions now and how, you know, they might've been, they might've been, it might've been like cool that I did that, or it might've been weird that I did that, or, um, I like going back and, and listening and like seeing what I did in those scenarios. Yeah, where probably people... Turned one year on uh, April 19th, I think. Um, I'm soaked. What's your favorite animal? Orca whale. And I think I'll end on that one. Um, all right, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This was awesome. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you didn't, it's okay. I understand. All right, later.